I'm here again, Professor Hartman. Today we're going to start our Unit 1 lecture. And I'm going to go ahead and take you through some of the topics in the Unit 1 outline. Now I am not going to be covering all of these things because I think you can go out on the web in your textbook and uh, find some of these um, answers to these questions on your own. I think that's a part of learning is to be able to search and find. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and start with um, understanding the steps to the scientific method. Many of your books will have various steps and basically I have four steps and um, the first of those four steps would be the observation uh, or discovery of a problem okay and um, the next step would be a hypothesis it'd be your question as to why you have a, have that problem the third step would be uh, your experiment and data collection. And your fourth step would be your conclusion. So those are the four steps to the scientific method as Hartman sees it. Now, let's go ahead and use those steps in a hypothetical situation. Okay? This, remember, is just something I'm just going to make up, but it will hopefully explain the four steps to the scientific method. It should also bring in these three key terms here, control, variable, and placebo. See, I tell you and below here to prepare a hypothetical experiment using the following steps. Okay? So I've just given you those four steps and uh, I'm going to give you a hypothetical experiment, but you should be able to <clears throat> create your own hypothetical experiment, okay, so that it will show that you thoroughly understand what the scientific method is. Okay, so let's go ahead and you can go ahead and uh, just listen and relax, take a deep breath, and let's go ahead and decide what we're going to do our experiment on here. Okay, I know a good one. Let's say there's an issue with um, bad breath. Okay, we've all come across a person who's got bad breath. Okay, well, we can see that... Um, in the stores there are several items that will help to alleviate bad breath. Uh, you can get mouthwash, you can get various spray, you can get you know candy type you know items. So let's go ahead and make a a uh, hypothetical experiment using the um, observation that you know some people have bad breath mm -hmm. okay that's our observation and basically that is a problem so um, we can write that out as our step one we've observed that uh, people have bad breath Next thing we're going to do is try to create a solution to that problem through a questioning of uh, something that we might think could solve that problem. Well, how about this? Here's my hypothesis. This specific chemical will kill bacteria that cause bad breath. How about that? So I have a specific chemical that I'm going to 
use and it's going to kill the bacteria that cause the bad breath. Okay? So that's my hypothesis. Will this chemical kill the bacteria that cause bad breath? That's um, step two, hypothesis. Step three. We got to set up an experiment. Well, I've got to get I've got to get a large group of people to test my hypothesis. Okay, I got to got to go out there and test a large group of people. A few thousand. So I take my chemical, I put it in a little bit of uh water. And I have these people, I have half of the group rinse out with the chemical and the water, okay? They rinse and do a mouthwash type of thing. And I spit it out, you know. And after about a week of using this mouthwash, and of course I'm taking data, I go and after they wash their mouth out every morning, I smell their breath because, see, they're coming into my my laboratory and they're doing this every every morning for one week and um, I'm smelling their breath and I'm collecting the data now remember I only said half of those people are rinsing out with the chemical that's in the in the water and that's the variable I'm using, that chemical. The other people, they're just rinsing out with water. That's the control. That's the control group. They don't, they don't know that they have, that they are the control. They just think they're getting the chemical, but they're not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a placebo in their water. A placebo could be maybe a little bit of sugar, okay? That could be a little bit of uh, a chemical that they might think is, you know, since the water doesn't taste like water, it tastes a little bit sweet, they might think they're getting the chemical, but they're not. They're just getting the placebo. So I got 50% of the people that are getting the chemical that should kill the bacteria. 50% of the people are getting placebo. That is the control group people who are getting the placebo. Okay? <clears throat> I collect this data and then after my week of uh, sniffing people's breath I write out my conclusion. Well I found that the people who actually had the chemical that killed the bacteria in their water, and the, those are the people that rinsed with that mouthwash, their breath actually smelled a lot better at the end of the week than the people who got sugar water, the placebo, the control group. So my conclusion would be the chemical added to the water killed the bacteria and made your breath smell nice and clean. Okay? So, it actually helped to solve the problem of bad breath. So that's a basic hypothetical experiment using the scientific method. Hope you all have a nice day.